Where are them hookers at? Ain't that the line? Where are the hookers? Right? Are you okay? Uh, bro, I'm not all right. I get my I get my phone to magically float. Oh. Can we get going? Huh? No, this is more entertaining. We got a rampage. I don't know what you're doing, but it's more entertaining than our show. All right. Mean of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hook versus Fuego del Sol. He always just stands there looking cool because he's Hook and he knows it. Three parts that go into being Hook. First part, obviously, is Taz. This Hook kid, very tranquilo. And he's got the, the hands up high like a kickboxing stance. Best I can come up with is Mirko Crow Cop. So there you go. One third Taz, one third Naito, one third Mirko Crow Cop. You got Hook. His gear, his look, his, his hair, all of that. It's all Hook. He's, he's a driven kid. He's a very, very creative kid. It's not a fair comparison because they never would have let Hook do any of this if he were on Raw. And if Dominic and Ray had been in AEW, they'd be able to do everything that they wanted to do. And he would have been a significantly bigger star in AEW as the son of Rey Mysterio than random Dominic on Raw that loses half of his matches because they can't figure out if they want to break him up or not. Adam Cole's great. Wheeler Yuta's a great... Uh, Crash test dummy. Mm, do sure. they have those anymore? I'm sure they I do. Don't, I would imagine. Yeah. Very... I know they're very popular in Canada. Under what circumstances did you all meet each other? Oh, jeez. Well, Vinny went to high school with me. Brian used to put news on his... I thought you were going to say nudes. No. Still does that. By the way, stop sending those. It's embarrassing for all of us. Merry Christmas, Granny. If you could only ever watch one Christmas movie each year, what would it be? I can't remember the name of that one. Where Die they... Hard. No, where they Never lost the money. Never seen Die Hard. Stink your ronk, stink your ronk, stink your ronk. Yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong about you, Stink. Mm. Granny, your uh, thoughts? I don't get it. Yeah, I didn't think you would. What would you ask Undertaker Claus to give you for this Christmas holiday? Dude, that gold urn. Yeah, I want that. Well, Granny wants the urn. Skylar King says, Granny, uh -huh. if you... Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> we had a person with the last name Fornicator, and you never asked about that, but you're you're all hung up here on on King. Go well. ahead, Vinny. King Fornicator. That's awesome. Which of these seven dwarves would Brian, Vinny, and Craig be? Okay, first one's easy. I'm grumpy. Go. I'm sleepy. Vince wants to be grumpy. He can have it. Craig's bashful, okay, and sure. you'll be dopey. Ha! <laughs> She's talking about you. This question may, in fact, send me to hell, but I'm going to ask it anyway. A baby undertaker is born in a manger. What are three, what are three gifts that you bring to him? <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Just comparing. We don't know what Jesus did before he raised the dead. Actually, we do. He, he might have been an undertaker. He was a carpenter. Well, I there's mean, a whole book dude, about it. Name two that. people who were born in mangers. A granny's probably born in a manger. No. So it's the Steiners versus Glenn Ruth and Bobby Who. And if you think I'm joking, Vince says Bobby Who. And nobody answers him, so Vince just rolls it. Bobby Who? Are you sure they gave him the last name Who? I only heard Bobby Who. I know they had a last name. I didn't write it down. But then Vince goes, Who? And so then you tried to tell me that was his actual last name, Bobby Who. Who am I to question Vince McMahon? But he didn't say his name was Bobby Who, Vinny. He called him Bobby Who the entire match. I know. He was like, Who? Not that his name was Who. Like, who the fuck is this in my ring? I'm like, you tell me. You're the fucking commentator. Bobby B! <laughs> we open with Hangman Page versus Brian Danielson for the AEW World title. They wrestled for a very long time, and it was good. Next match. No, I'm kidding. Yes, some people didn't like the time limit draw. I mentioned it on Observer Live today. If you didn't like the, the time limit draw, that's fine. But they gave you a one, they gave you one hour of Brian Danielson and Hangman Page for free. Yeah. On television. I don't want to hear that you're mad this week because you pay for cable, okay? Get out of here. You got this match for free for one hour, and you didn't get a finish for free. I know some people think that this was a disappointment. I've heard failure. Really? It was none of those hmm. things, okay? Yes, the overall rating for the show was lower than expected. The 18 to 49 was lower than expected. But you know what was interesting about this show? The reason the show did... What it did is because when this match was over, it went like a reverse Omicron. It went straight down. Pulls back this person's hood that we never see their face. He blows the black mist on them. They collapse, 
and he kind of kneels by their head and whispers, now you are so much more than a king. Maybe it's Kenny King coming in, you think? I no. was, I was, I, I mean, honestly, I was thinking who this might be all day, and just as I was reading it out loud, that's the first thing that popped into my head. It's Brody King. That would work, too. Of course it would work. <laughs> They're the tag team champions of PWG. Yeah. I would like to congratulate the Blondes for going into an AEW interview segment and coming out of it standing. It's a very mm. rare thing. Adam Cole promises the best Christmas present ever for the Bucks next week. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Or who? Hmm. Mm. He says underwhelming wins over underwhelming talent and underwhelming matches doesn't make you a champion. It just makes you right back. And the crowd is very taken aback by this insult. Dante tries a rolling 450. Like you do a somersault, pop it to your feet, and flip all the way over to your 450 splash. And I suppose technically he hit it, but in the process, his knee came down right into Max's face. I'm not sure if that's considered hitting it if you <laughs> screw up the move and almost kill the guy. That's not, he didn't hit it well. He hit him. <laughs> He did not hit his move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, MJF makes all these references to WWE, and he talks about a future bidding war. And yes. I could not help but notice that this was a total raw finish here. Yes, And you're exactly right. They don't normally do this. So when I watched it, I thought, is this like some 3D chess or whatever they call it, uh, a, a way for, for MJF to get additional heat? By doing a finish that people who watch WWE fucking have to see all the time and hate. Cameron Grimes clearly drops the floor and screams, Ow! Goddamn! Lighten up, man! Calm down, brother! <laughs> and I reiterate your point. The veterans in NXT need hazard pay. If I'm a, a young kid and I skate, how in the fuck am I supposed to get into a, a character who does a skateboarding gimmick but can't skate? And I don't want to get on Cora Jade because Cora Jade is not the problem here. The problem is the whole fucking promotion. Everything about this promotion is so fake. The school teacher ain't a fucking school teacher. The poker player can't fucking play poker. We have... Tony the, D'Angelo's a mobster. Yeah, the mobster. You guys really believe that guy guy's a mobster? Of course not. He's a guy playing a fucking character. But, like, if you're a young kid, and it's like you're watching this fucking show, and it's a bunch of stupid fucking fake characters, no shit no young people are watching this show. It's stupid. Wade Barrett says, I'm sick of this jacket time. I'd like to see jacket off time. And there's a pause, and then, like, everyone's all awkward. Yeah. Oh my God. And finally, Wade this, says, don't be crass. We're doing fucking jack-off jokes mm -hmm. in 2021. So we finally discover the mystery contents of MSK's bag. Sharing is caring, bro, as Riddle says. You know, the funny thing is that this is much wackier than anything that Jack at Time did. But, like, there's certain people that can fucking make wacky work. And Matt Riddle is one of them. And the main event was very, very good. Roderick Strong and Braun Breaker. Yeah, this Braun Breaker man, like they're getting him in there with the best workers to try to get him to be the best worker they can be as fast as fucking possible. Because he will be headlining a WrestleMania within three years. I've bet a thousand dollars on this.